guys it's just a quick um, video first one from my channel I guess um, it's to talk about a controller that I bought after you know watching some other reviewers uh, talk about it and kind of give their verdict and blah blah now I'll give you the reasons why I bought it why I think you should or shouldn't buy it and why I think the £40 price tag is a little bit too much um, but yeah let's get into it so it's the gully kit um, King Kong Pro Controller. You know, packaging is really nice. Comes quite all right. You know, blah blah. blah. So I've already so I've been using this for about uh, two weeks, maybe three weeks, whatever, whatever, it's, whatever I've been using it for. So anyway, so unboxing it, you know, you get a pack. You know, it's got crazy functionality on it, which I'm not going to go too much into it. There you go, there's your card to tell you all the functionality, I don't know if you can see that. But, you know, it's got turbo mode, it's got, you know, ZL, ZR, sensitivity, kind of speak. <laughs> got great spelling mistakes. Sensing, aiming, setting with one T. Um, and whatever else you can find on there to kind of have a laugh about and let them know. Um, now, I only, I've, I've not, I don't care about this. I bought it because it's an alternative pro control that's got vibration, it's got an FC, and it's got these special modes, whatever. Whatever you want to do. And then a book. Just to tell you, you know, blah blah blah. Okay, so this is the second edition, I believe. Uh, the first one came with like a nice, uh, a nice pouch. Um, this one comes with a hard case, and you get your USB C cable in there, it's just a box of USB C cable. Um, and yeah, you get a hard case. Now I kind of like the hard case. It's all right. You know, you can, you know, put it in there and throw it in your bag if you're going out. You can't really do anything at the moment with lockdown, but whatever. You know. So here's the the main thing. And yeah, straight off the bat, you look at it and you think, wow, it looks like an elite controller. You know, it's got your different buttons. It's got your switch buttons. Um, and first thing I noticed as soon as I picked it up, that's what first thing I noticed was it was very light, not super light. Like if you compare it to like these uh, split pad pros, this is super light. This is lightish compared to the Pro controller. But actually, it's got a big difference actually. Um, but overall, you know, it, it feels great. You know, you can sit on the switch there, you know, perfect. Obviously, I've, I've been using it for about two weeks now, so you can see some marks on it. And my fingers have been... Hang on, it's in, in the back of it. You no, know, it's quite nice. You know, you can see... No, you're like... <laughs> disgusting, you can see where my fingers have been. It's got this weird matte finish. And that's like, it's, it's like, I don't even know what kind of... You probably tell me in the comments what it, what material it is, but it's just a nice. I guess it's more for grip, but you do it grips quite well. Um, so let's go over it. So I bought this because it looks like the Xbox Elite controller. Now I've got the Pro controller. The issue I've got with the Pro controller is the right stick is currently drifting. I've took it apart, as you can see. Changed a few buttons on it, and it's still drifting. Cleaned it out, and it's just <laughs> playing. Playing, you know, Splatoon 2, Fortnite, Warface, it's, it's absolutely annoying because the freaking thing is constantly going to the left, or if you slightly go to the right, it goes to the, the right, but very stupidly, and then it twitches, it's really annoying. So, I didn't want to spend another 60 quid, and I don't really want to be going around changing the joysticks. Never really done that before. So, whatever, leave it to it. So, first of all, the buttons, great. Really nice, feel really good. It's very responsive, as you can see. It looks nice, it looks the part. Really good. Now, as you can see, I'm missing two buttons. Because <laughs> when I took the freaking thing apart to have a look inside, I forgot to watch out for the buttons, and now I can't find them. But whatever, I can use a pin or a pen or something just to swap it. It's only gonna be on 
switch on the PC, so I'm not too fussed to be fair. Um, now, I'm a little bit annoyed when it turned up, because on the pictures and everything, it looks like an Elite controller. And they do have just a bog standard King Kong controller, right? So these are black, they're black, it looks like just a normal Xbox controller. So I assume these are going to be some form of metal, maybe an aluminium, but they're not, they're very, very cheap plastic, like really, really cheap. And then you can click. Just very cheap, and then we're clicking. Very cheap sounding, like we compare it to the Pro Controller. Sounds solid. Yeah, it sounds solid. So, it's got NFC, it's got rumble. Not HD rumble, but it's got some form of vibrations. You know, you can change the, the power of it, put it down there. I have kind of broke this a little bit, but I don't care. <laughs> Okay, it's supposed to be softer, but I think... Whatever, it's on you, it's changed. Oh, it's also got a motion control, which I don't use, so I'm not that bothered. Um, so, is it worth 40 quid? Uh, yes and no. Now, it is to me, because I plug in my Xbox controller into my PC all the time. It's not having a wire, or I do have the... Uh, wireless functionality because uh, I've got the little dongle again you know Xbox controllers take batteries or you get your chargeable kit but it's annoying because either way you're going to have to have a you're going to have it charging at some point where this no yeah it's USB-C it connects anything Bluetooth so your PC's got Bluetooth connects straight to it if it hasn't got a little dongle you can kind of get to there 20 hours uh, battery life, about two, three hours worth of charging to get it full. Um, I've not had an issue with it yet. There's no issues. It just feels cheap. So if you're looking for a pro controller alternative, then this is definitely at the top of the list. Um, if you want to spend that extra 20 quid and actually get a pro controller, I would suggest doing that. Unless you're going to be using this for your phone, your PC, you switch, um, there's another one there, I don't know what it is, it just looks like another Windows icon, so, I don't know, but, it's beauty, it looks, it looks great, it feels alright, it feels, it feels premium cheap, whatever the hell that means, it feels like they've used decent quality buttons, um, the D-pad's a bit annoying. So <laughs> these three are fine, but as soon as I press up, it's got this horrible spongy feeling like it's ridiculous. So that's another reason why I took it apart, just to see if there's a sticker or something stuck there. There's not, it's just, I don't even know. Um, you know, I can do another video taking it apart if anyone does want to see the inside of it, you know, after I pretty much broke it anyway. So <laughs> lost the buttons. Um, I was contemplating just buying a new one, um, but it still works. So, whatever, it's fine. Um, we'll jump straight into Damon X, go about that today. And uh, so just run around, just so you can see. Well, it's just very responsive. No issues, really. Um, so, I think. If you want to spend 40 quid on a controller you can use across your PC, your phone, uh, maybe Xbox and not tried it, uh, and the Switch, then yeah, go for it. If you're just going to use it for the Switch and spend the extra 20 quid, um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to know more about the functionality, you know, there's loads of other reviewers out there, or I can spend some time just going through all the, there's loads. And that's why this first video will just be a quick one about this controller, just because after I saw the videos of it and blah, blah, no one really went into detail of, you know, if it's plastic, if it's metal, uh, you know, they compare it to a Elite controller, but I wouldn't, it's, it's not. It's just a, a standard Xbox controller, I guess, with better functionality. 
Um, yeah, I think that'll kind of do it. You know, first video, 10 minutes. Um, you know, I do stream on Twitch, so if you do want to pop on there and watch me do some streaming, you know, jump in and whatnot. It's kind of just the first video, kind of get my YouTube channel going and talk about something that's worth talking about. You know, I've got the um, Genki stuff coming, I've got the Bluetooth things already, I can do a new video on that if anyone wants to know about that. Um, you know, I've got the Split Pad Pro, the blue version, so if anyone wants to talk about that, then I can do some on that. Um, loads of stuff coming, loads of stuff. I've got the new Monster Rise collection edition, so we can do an unboxing of that when that gets here at the end of this month. Um, giving you some gameplay videos. Probably be streaming that on Twitch as well once the Shadow Cast gets there. Um, that's pretty much it. So, you know, thanks for watching. 